Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in 3D Code. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use alphas in the voxel sculpting room. And alphas are pretty cool because it's a fun way to add detail to your sculpt, right? So let's get started. We're going to go to the voxel sculpting room. We're going to start with an empty grid. We're going to hit the space bar. Let's go to primitives, click on it. And up here we have a selection to choose from. And let's just take a simple cube, right? Okay, so let's scale this up a little bit. And then we're going to hit enter to accept it. We're going to grab a random brush to get rid of that orange proxy uh, thingy. Let's just click on the build right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to focus on alphas and on the specific brush we want to apply these alphas, right? So alphas are on the right, right here. And if you don't see them, we'll go up to Windows, Panels, Alphas, and they will show up. And then as far as the brush style is concerned, we have to go up here and then move to the right until we have that circle with the little arrow in it, okay? This guy. It's stamp mode, basically. Now, I'm gonna align this up so it's nice and square. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these. Let's say this cog down here. Now, once I select that, you see that my cursor now looks like that cog, right? And if I were to change it to the button, it would look like the button and so forth. Now, once I have that, I have a couple of options. The yellow circle surrounding the button is the size of my brush and the red line is the strength, okay? So I can right click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. And what I can do is right click and push up or down to make the intensity bigger or higher or whatever, right? Okay, so I'll make it a little bit bigger. And once I'm ready to apply it, I left click and drag. So I just drag that out. There you go. And while I do that, I can also rotate it, right? So in this case, I got buttons. There you go. And I can make them smaller, bigger, whatever I want. I can even have them overlap, right? Now let's uh, choose that cog one that I had before. And uh, we'll put one here. And it's a bit harder to see. Let's push that up a little bit. There you go. Now I could easily make this a 20 minute video, but why would I, right? I don't want to waste your time. I just want to get you started in 3D code and this is how you use alphas, right? So best of luck with that. I hope you have fun. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you have any requests, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.